الدين اصطفى ما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ان ابراهيم كان امة قانتا لله حنيفا ولم يكن من المشركين شاكرا لانعمه اجتباه وهداه الى صراط مستقيم واتيناه في الدنيا حسنه وانه في الاخره لمن الصالحين ثم اوحينا اليك ان اتبع مله ابراهيم حنيفا وما كان من المشركين انما جعل السبت على الذين اختلفوا فيه وان ربك لا يحكم بينهم يوم القيامه فيما كانوا فيه يختلفون صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين <تصفيق> إن إبراهيم كان أمة قاندا لله حنيفا ولم يكن من المشركين الله سبحانه وتعالى إن ذي آيات سورة نحل للاش في آيات سورة نحل we are completing إن شاء الله uh, tomorrow or, or day after tomorrow إن شاء الله the next درس will complete surah nahl inshallah so these last few ayat allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding the pagans of arab the mushrikeen and <coughs> the christians and the jewish people all of them the unique thing about had ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that all pretty much all the religions <coughs> even those who were mushrikeen who were not christians nor jewish they also used to claim that we are the followers and from among the people of Hazrat Ibrahim ala nabi alayhi salatu wassalam that's why sometimes we call christian the christianity and Jew- judaism mm-hmm. as abrahamic religions as well so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them that what was the reality of ibrahim ala nabi alayhi salatu wassalam inna ibrahim kana ummatan ibrahim alayhi salam in himself was an ummah why is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling him an ummah one meaning of ummah is that he was a leader but another meaning of ummah is that in himself even if he was a single person because he was established on the truth when everyone is false everyone is on falsehood and one person is on the right path then that right person is the ummah that right person is the jamaah that right person is that group with which the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the aid of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with so had ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam although everyone around him most of the people except for very few people who believed in him and two of them were his family members itself <coughs> they were all mushrikeen but ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was an ummah in his in his own in his own self qanitan lillah devoted to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he was very submitted very he had a lot of submission to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these things the jews the christians and the uh the mushrikeen they also agreed upon that he was he was very submissive submissive to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused it such that because of him standing firm on the oneness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he was thrown into the fire he took that he was he had a child when he was old after a lot of wishes a lot of dua and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to leave that child and his mother alone in a barren land he did so then when that child became of enough age that they, he could run and help him out that child that age where parents really start loving their child at that age allah subhanahu wa ta'ala co- commanded him to slaughter his very own child he still fulfilled his promise with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he was very submissive to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the religions believed in that hanifa he was <coughs> a man of pure faith and devotion in one direction and that direction was allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he did not wama kana wa lam yakun minal mushrikeen and he was not from among the those who would do shirk or associate partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he was those of, of one of those who would associate partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why would he be thrown into the fire it was for this very reason that he was not a mushrik so these people who are 
claiming to be the followers of Hazrat Ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and yet they are on the other hand doing shirk either associating idols or associating Hazrat Isa ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam or Hazrat Uzair ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam as partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how can they be on the path of Hazrat Ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he when they also say that he was a muahid he was he believed in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and on those, and also they are claiming that we follow him we are from among his people and also doing shirk shakir ali anrumi he was such a person that he was grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ijtabahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had chosen him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him how did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him by making him his khalil his very close friend he is that person that human being about him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that he is the khalil of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a very close friend to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him wa hadahu ila sirat al mustaqim and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him guide, guidance or led him to the right path to the straight path wa atainahu fi dunya hasana allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed good upon him in this world not only in his lifetime but also for as far as the world is going to live there's going to be people there will be people who would take their take honor in being among those who are the people of Hazrat Ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam so muslims christians jews all of them they take pride in the fact that they are somehow related to Hazrat Ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa innahu fil akhirati lamin as-salihin and in the hereafter also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make, will show you that he is uh, he is among the righteous people so in the hereafter he is among the righteous as well thumma awhayna ilayka an ittabi' millata ibrahim hanifa hazrat abu fasrin have explained this ayah in such a way that all these honors on one side all these honors hazrat ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam on one side and this honor alone that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told his beloved nabi to follow in the footsteps of hazrat ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam that itself is a bigger honor than all the honors aside so thumma awhayna ilayka then we gave wahi to you to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam an ittabi' millat ibrahim hanifa that you also obey in the footsteps of the people of or the millat of ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam follow the way of hazrat ibrahim alaihi sallatu wasallam hanifa the upright one direction one uh, <coughs> worship no associate association of partners and associate gods with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala worship allah alone wa ma kana minal mushrikeen again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that to obey and to follow in the footsteps of hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam means that you do not do any shirk with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah, so muslims the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam and the teachings that he has brought they are the righteous uh, followers of Hazrat Ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam inna ma ju'ila as-sabtu ala alladhina ikhtalafu fi now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that the way you are making things haram for you they were the things that you are making haram for yourself especially sabt sabt or sabbath is that concept in the jewish people where consumption of fish is haram for them on saturdays this was in the time when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of their mischief allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made something tayyib something clean and pure and pleasurable haram for them forbidden for them because of their mischievous nature because of their uh, constantly um, doing things such as annoying and taunting and uh, mocking the anbiya of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making uh, ridiculing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did that as a matter of punishment so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it clear here that this is not for the whole ummah of or all the followers of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam this was for a particular group innama ju'il as-sabtu ala alladhin ikhtalafu fi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made that sabbath which is the prohibition of fish on Saturdays was prescribed only for those people those specific people the Jews who deferred in it وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَيَحْكُمُ بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فِي مَا كَانُوا فِيهِ يَخْتَلِفُونَ And your Lord will certainly judge between them on the day of resurrection in those matters which they used to differ. So, the <coughs> Jews, they would also make things halal and haram out of their own whims and desires for themselves. And these confusions, these things that they create in deen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will decide between them what they used to differ. And Similarly, herein there is a lesson for Muslims and the people who claim to follow Hazrat Ibrahim ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam that do not add 
or subtract commands in deen out of your own wish, out of your own logic. Be like Hazrat Ibrahim Alayhi Nabi Salatu Wasalam who would submit to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala whatever the command Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will give to him he would give thanks to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and he would only worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala worshiping only Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala means that not only do sajda and do acts of worship to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala but also not associating yourself as somebody who would give commands just like Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala so this making of halal and haram out of your own whims and desires this is like doing shirk with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that you Allah is saying one thing and then you are adding and subtracting to it. So don't do it like that. And be steadfast and straight on the path of Hazrat Ibrahim Alayhi Wa Sallatu Wasalam. The best way, the most appropriate way to do it is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is doing. That he is calling people towards the oneness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And this is what Hazrat Ibrahim Alayhi Wa Sallatu Wasalam did as well. رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيرُ الْعَلِيمُ وَتَبَعَ لَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ الْحَلِيمُ الْكَرِيمُ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَظِيمُ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ نَسْأَلُكَ مُجِبَاتِ رَحْمَتِكَ وَعَزَائِمَ مَغْفِرَتِكَ وَالْغَنِيمَةَ مِنْ كُلِّ بِرْ وَالسَّلَامَةَ مِنْ كُلِّ إِثْمٍ لَا تَدْعُ لَنَا ذَمًّا إِلَّا غَفَرْتَهُ وَلَا هَمًّا إِلَّا فَرَّجْتَهُ وَلَا حَاجَةً هِيَ لَكَ رِضًا إِلَّا قَضَيْتَهَا يَا أَرْحَمَ الرَّاحِمِينَ يَا رَبَّ الْعَالَمِينَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ تَعَالَى عَلَى خَيْرِ خَلْقِهِ سَيِّدِنَا وَنَعْلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ